As the legislative session comes to a close Monday, the Texas Capitol was sent into unmapped political territory when a committee recommended Attorney General Ken Paxton be impeached. Fox 7 Austin's Kelly Severi joins us live at the Capitol with a story. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Amanda. If he's impeached, he'll have to step down from his role while he faces a Senate trial. Yesterday, the committee filed 20 articles of impeachment against him. He took to social media to say overturning elections begins behind closed doors. Now, this committee is made up of three Republicans and two Democrats, and they voted unanimously to go forward with impeachment proceedings. Meanwhile, Paxton is under indictment for securities fraud. This for some years now. The investigation began in March, just about a month after Paxton agreed to pay $3.3 million in a settlement to four former senior aides that he retaliated against after they accused him of corruption. Paxton asked the legislature to cover the bill of that settlement. House Speaker Dade Phelan was against this. Paxton then accused Phelan of being drunk on the House floor this week. The chair moves that the committee adopt the articles of impeachment against Warren Kenneth Paxton, Attorney General of the State of Texas, as embodied in the draft resolution and direct the chair to file that resolution with the chief clerk of the House. The clerk will call the roll. Chair Emmer? Aye. Vice Chair Johnson? Yes. Representative Guerin? Yes. Representative Longoria? Yes. Representative Speller? Aye. There being five ayes, zero nays, zero present not voting, the motion prevails. At this point, we don't know what the timeline will be for um, this impeachment trial, but we know that the session ends on Monday. I'll send it back to you. And a lot happening in these last few days. Kelly Saberi reporting for us this morning. Kelly, thank you.